what is it like with the tropical sun? We have? It's just different for me. And I think I've tried to focus that on that a little reflection and transparency and a little on water and um, how it's, it's related to glass transparency and light. But I build a model, I build a world, and then I take my own pictures in that world, in a sense. If you're an architect, you kind of know what you want to uh, present to people. So you develop a rendering that highlights the best in that building. I've done that also in places that are um, sort of memorable to me and what I feel are important, like that 12th Avenue area in Kaimaki is uh, a place I grew up. The elements that I see, the feelings that I have, the same with the house that we live in now um, on Cocoa Head Avenue. That house is, I think it's 1935. It's a remarkable house because it has a lot of glass. I think that's maybe one of my focuses is, is light, capturing light. And a lot of this starts with that uh, indoor-outdoor edge, the edge between the house inside and the yard. As an architect, I've never done a house like that, but I have that appreciation for these mid-century uh, early statehood houses where, um, you know, if there's some way to have sliding doors, everything moves back and on a great weather type of day, your room is the entire world. It feels